Okay there guys, so here is my crane machine. So I don't know what it is. Like it hasn't got a manufacturer or make, it's like just a a standard mini crane. <clears throat> so I'm gonna show you how uh how it all works on the inside and uh then I'm gonna do a five pound challenge, the good old five pound challenge. Um this game is percentage controlled as well as uh, being controlled by these two pots here. So we've got a pot there that controls uh, how quickly the, uh, the crane grabs uh, before heading back up. So if it's on the strongest setting, which is if it's on down here, it will grab straight away. It will go down, grab, then take up. If that's set to the weakest setting, it'll go down and it'll start coming up and then grab. So less likely to grab anything. If it's obviously in the middle, then it'll go down, start coming up and grab sooner than the weakest setting. The um, pot here too, pot two, is what controls how strong the grab is uh, while it's transporting the toy. So if you have a good mix of like, say that the, the pot one, in the middle somewhere, a little bit higher than the middle rock I've got here. And the same with the pot two. Uh, basically it will, um, it will go down, grab as it's going up slightly, so it's a bit hard to grab it, but it's also got a good chance of keeping hold of the toy, because uh, I've got cheap toys in there, and it's not like your eight or nine pound Super Mario, uh, or Minecraft uh, teddies, these are, um, Pepper Pig, this assortment of six Pepper Pigs, like George and Mummy, we've got Daddy here somewhere, Daddy Pig, two varieties of peppers, oops, I don't chuck around everywhere, two varieties of peppers and two varieties of George, so I've got George there in green with a dinosaur and a blue George, um, they're quite novel, kids will like them, uh, and I've got a load of these uh, John West, um, brown bears, like the grizzly bears you see in the advert. Um, so they're, they're quite cool, but they're cheap as well. And I've got some annoying oranges. I've got 144 of these bloody annoying oranges. And the, the bloody annoying thing is, really annoying orange, is that it doesn't actually grab. Um, it, it's too big for the grabber. So, um, I mean, you can grab it, it will grab it eventually. Um, but it's so much harder than the other toys, so I keep that at the back, sort of in the unreachable section, because I don't really want people going for it, because it's not winnable, which is, you know, I, I, I wouldn't want people, I wouldn't want myself to be playing a machine with unwinnable toys, so I don't want to put it on anywhere else, but obviously, this is only for demonstration purposes, so I'll put them in there, because that's what I bought, and just make it look a little bit nicer for the video. Um, yeah, so... So I've, I've set it all out so you can select whichever toy you want. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll put a, a pound in, and I've, I've, I've rigged up a really crude, crappy coin rack at the moment. I'm waiting for a coin rack to be delivered to through the post. So this one does the job uh, quite nicely, but right, for now it'll just have to do. So we'll get six credits for that. <clears throat> so as I was saying, with the pots, it actually got a little voltage meter here. So it shows you how much voltage is on the grab. So if I was to put that on the strongest setting, which means it will grab straight away, and the strongest for the, the travelling, and then when you play it, you literally grab it and hold on to it. Now obviously that wasn't a very good grab, so um, I'm never going to win it, but that's another reason why these uh, toys were cheap because they're smaller than your average toy so it's, it's actually quite hard to grab but you see it doesn't drop it What's that damn button there? you see the claw quite closes straight away oh double oh. no maybe not Oh, 
That's game over. <clears throat> so, we've won we've got two teddy bears out of a pound. Oh, that's about right. You know, I mean, I don't I want to be making more than that. So, um, of course, I'll be putting the, the travelling pot down a little bit to about there. And that will give it a good chance of grabbing it and keeping hold of it. But it'll also give it a little bit of um, chance to drop it as well. Because obviously, you know, I'm not running a... A charity shop, but you know, it's, it's got to make a little bit of money for me when it goes on site. Um, like I say, I don't want to be greedy because that's just ridiculous. Greedy operators are poor operators, put it that way. Um, you want people to come back and play your cranes again and again so they know, you know, if people see people winning on cranes, uh, they'll they'll play. Um, you know, and if people see um, you know, crane machines that just the toys don't move then you know that, that they, they won't play it it's all about perception of the player um, yeah so uh, like I, say, I don't, I don't want to make it too easy but then again I don't want to make it too hard either so what I normally do is I normally set the, 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 the pot to not pick it up all the time uh, and about average for the how strong it would grab it so we'll give it another go and see if it makes any difference to our game So already I'm seeing this is, this is set far too easy yeah, as I said. Yeah, so right now I mean I'm minus about 47p. <laughs> On this pound I've given away uh, one pound something worth of stock, one pound 40, one pound 50 worth of stock. So that wouldn't work, that would not be a viable business right there. So it's got to be turned down. Um, let's turn it down a little bit. And yeah, it's a little bit more. I hope I don't drop my money as well. Let's stick another pound in. Thus, hopefully now you can see how these pots affect how how your clack crane will operate or how the crane that you're playing will operate. So now you could set this at the weakest possible pot. Now that's far that's going up far too slowly so we'll have to turn that back up a little bit. It's just not grabbing anything now. Should be gettable now. Maybe not. So yeah, that pot definitely needs to be turned up a little bit. So this is another way that you can do it. Um, just turn that pot right up so it picks it up all the time, but then turn that one more down. Uh, I think it was about four o'clock. That will that will work there. And now what that will do is that will pick the toy up every time. Um, but it'll drop it more more often. It'll play with it, so it, 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 it it's more of an enticement for the player to carry on playing. So it's to say you, you, you'll still win. Um, you see, it'll drop it as well, even what, even after it's got a good grab, yeah, it can still drop it. Instead of getting two, though, we only got one. So you see how it's grabbing it all the time. But then letting it go. So that's the, the pot there that's making it let go. That's the pot that's keeping it grabbing all the time. So what you could also do is another option. is turn that one up. To full strength. Now I think this is how the USA have it actually. 
is have that up to full strength, uh, or pretty much full strength, and have your pot one to grab, a little bit harder to grab. So put it about there. And basically the way that the states have it is that if you grab it, you pretty much guaranteed to win it, but it's a lot harder to grab it. Also more expensive per go over in the States, it's like 50 cents for about 40p, 35p. So you see, it was harder to grab that, but once I grabbed it, guaranteed win. Or, you know, it wasn't going to drop it, put it that way. Right, well, um, thanks for watching guys, that's the, um, the pots explained. There is also another, there's a dip switch on the back of the machine in the little circuit board. Uh, that controls the percentage payout. So of course you've got the pots to play around with, um, with the uh, the machine, and that's the the playing with the, the toys rather than controlling how much it pays out. As you know, obviously uh, as well as you know, but the, the when the dip switch on the back of the machine runs to a certain percentage, when it hits that percentage, it will pay it out no matter what these these pots are at. Um, so that's that's always quite handy. Uh, yeah. So um, that's that's that. So that's that's how you can um, muck around if you if you're lucky enough to own a, a crane machine. Um, yeah. So well, thanks very much for watching, guys. Hey, who cut the cheese? <laughs> and uh, tune into the next video where I'll show you all the tips and tricks that you can use to to winning as much as you can out of these buggers. But, uh, yeah, yeah. Whoever came up with the idea of the crane machine is a goddamn genius. Well, thanks very much for watching, guys. Take care. Bye bye.